Good morning, friends, and welcome to our daily devotional. I remember back then that I have been so impatient that when I have an appointment, I rush, meaning I drive so fast, trying to be on time. Well, God sometimes will remind His people to be low-abiding citizens. I got pulled over several times, and thankfully, I haven't got any ticket yet, and most of the officers gives me uh, grace. I know it won't happen again every time I get pulled over. Well, it's true that we sometimes get so impatient when we wanted it our own way or we want it right away. But there are also good things that comes out of it, meaning the learning of how to wait. The book of Acts 1 verse 4, And being assembled together with them, he commanded them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, which he said, you have heard from me. Acts 1 verse 4 simply says that was instructed not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait. You see, the disciples have to wait for the action of God, who alone initiates Christian mission. The Father in verse 4, the Holy Spirit in verses 2, 4 to 5, and Jesus here are all highlighted. I can visualize the scenario here that this is the disciples during these times were likely very excited and eager to go out and share the precious message of salvation. They, they were so excited. But wait, Jesus didn't say to them that, hey, you have to, st to stay here and do nothing. But instead, these disciples were proactive in verse 14, it says, These all continued with one accord in prayer and supplication. Friends, they spent time praying and worshiping together. Oh, wow. The disciples hadn't merely been waiting, but they were preparing as well. I know, friends, as we wait for this crisis to be over, you see, God is giving us an excellent opportunity to pray, worship, and study the Scripture as we continue to prepare our hearts, our minds, and body for what is to come. Oh, I'm so excited to see God's people filled with the Holy Spirit and ready and eager to share His precious message. Oh, church, sometimes we think that that this crisis is a curse or we can do anything. But let us consider it as a blessing, as a wonderful opportunity that God has given to us. Friends, when God asks us to wait, let us trust Him because He has a plan for each one of us. He has a plan for our families. He has a plan for, for the church. And He has definitely a plan for us. May this be a reflection today that even though the world right now is in chaos, God reminds us about the mission, not to focus on the problem or the situation right now, but instead we need to focus our eyes on Him. Acts of the Apostles, pages 35. Acts of the Apostles, pages 35. Again, Ellen G. White writes, in obedience to Christ's command, they waited in Jerusalem for the promise of the Father, the outpouring of the Spirit. They did not wait in idleness. The disciples prayed with intense earnestness for a fitness to meet men and in their daily intercourse to speak words that would lead sinners to Christ, putting away all differences that they have all desires for the supremacy, they came close together in Christian fellowship. They drew nearer and nearer to God. And as they did this, they realized what a privilege has been theirs in being permitted to associate so closely with Christ. Oh, friends, I've seen this church moving forward in faith and the best thing that I'm seeing right now is that we are praying for each other. The relationship is getting stronger and stronger each day. And I pray that God will continue to change our hearts, make us a better person, and focus on the mission that He has given to us. 
Oh friends, I'm excited to be back again in, in the wonderful place that God has given us, just worshiping together, praying together, and encouraging one another, and, and sharing the experiences that we have. But most of all, I'm so excited because we will be doing our part, reading our Bible, praying with each other, and focus on the mission that God has given to us in spreading the everlasting gospel, the three angels' message to our friends, to our families, and to our community most of all. Have a great day, friends, and I encourage you to spend quality time with God early in the morning, late at night, just by yourself. Spend time alone with God. It is such a wonderful time. In spite, again, in spite of the situation that we have, let us consider that this is still a blessing. As what we have studied this morning in the book of Acts, the disciples need to wait before they go out and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Friends, let's put our trust in God. He has a plan. All we need to do is open our hearts and let Him come in and equip us for His glory. And at the end of the day, at the end of this journey that we have, it is all about Jesus. Thank you again, friends, and have a great day. May God bless you.